Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the Interview Training Company, howtobecome.com, and in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your network rail interview. So if you have a network rail interview coming up for any position whatsoever, and you need to prepare for both the most common and tough competency and behavioral interview questions for any role at network rail, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish, because I'm gonna help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you a list of network rail interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your network rail interview before finally telling you how you can download further resources, including all of the answers to help you to prepare. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your network rail interview. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that first Network Rail interview question to prepare for, which is why do you want to work for Network Rail? This is guaranteed to come up during your interview and it is a tough one to get right. It is designed to weed out those who are applying en masse to all different jobs and companies. The hiring managers instead want to find those that truly respect and have a passion to work for Network Rail specifically. So you must demonstrate your passion for working for their company, show that you understand their brand and reputation, and that you have a commitment for wanting to work for Network Rail for the long term. That's really important because they don't want to spend the time, money and resources training you up for you only to leave because you decide the company or the role is not the right fit for you for the long term. And then they have to spend all that time, money and resources again, hiring someone else. So here's a fantastic top scoring answer to help you. Why do you want to work for Network Rail? Firstly, as a frequent user of the railway, I have always been impressed by the high standards of work carried out by Network Rail staff. I'm also impressed with your company's values, behaviours and approach to safety. For example, after viewing your website in depth, I came across your safety policy, which demonstrates a number of initiatives, such as promoting railway safety at numerous schools in the community. I want to work for such a company because I can bring the same dedication and high standards to the team. Reading further, the sustainability commitments the policy demonstrates tells me that Network Rail is making great strides in its commitment to reducing its environmental impact and you aim to be absolute zero carbon by 2050. The organisation's growing reputation among its customers and its values and ethics mean I'll be part of a company actively seeking to make a positive difference in people's day-to-day -day lives. Therefore, I'd be immensely proud to work for Network Rail in this role and I'm excited about the prospect of contributing to the company's continued success. That's a brilliant answer to that interview question. Why do you want to work for Network Rail? And it's gonna make you the stand out candidate. Let's move on to the next question. Where do you see yourself in five years time? The hiring manager is asking you this question for two reasons. Number one, they want to know that you want to work for their company for the long term, just as I mentioned before. And number two, they also want to know that you're ambitious and you have a vision for your professional development and in turn will add value to their company over the long term. So let's take a look at a great Great top scoring answer to help you. Where do you see yourself in five years time? In five years, I see myself progressing within the company to the point where not only am I a well respected in the role by my peers, but I've also taken on further responsibilities and developed professionally. I believe that in five years, I'll have proved myself as an invaluable member of the team. I intend to accomplish this by advancing my knowledge and skills, taking on new challenges and opportunities, and cultivating close bonds with my co-workers and clients. In addition, I would also take great pleasure in assisting in the training and development of newer colleagues who join the company. I am dedicated to the company's mission and core principles, and I hope to contribute to its success in the long run. Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner. It'll take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my 30 network rail interview questions and answers for all job roles to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones that we're covering right now. Okay, here's the next network rail interview question for you. What do you know about network rail as an organization? So you must showcase that you've done plenty of research about the company. That should go without saying before any job interview you have. So take a look at Network Rail's website, take a look at their About Us page, any latest news stories that they've posted and social media channels. And then you can impress the hiring manager by sharing facts about the company because this shows that you truly care about the company and you're not just interested in a paycheck. So let's take a look at a great example answer to help you. What do you know about Network Rail as an organisation? 
Network Rail is responsible for the UK's railway infrastructure. Network Rail is responsible for the UK's railway infrastructure. You own and maintain 20,000 miles of track, plus 30,000 bridges, tunnels and viaducts. Network Rail also own and manage the 20 largest train stations across the UK. The company is one of the UK's largest employers, with over 42,000 employees. The organisation also cares deeply about its employees and the wider community by employing a robust and efficient safety policy designed to keep everyone safe. Everyone home safe every day is Network Rail's safety promise. Network Rail also has a strong commitment to building a more diverse and inclusive organisation and has implemented the Everyone Matters strategy, which focuses on equality and a comfortable working environment for all. Network Rail also employs corporate values, which they expect all employees to embrace, empower to act, always safe, teamwork is key and care about people. If I am successful with my application, I look forward to demonstrating these values in my role to support my colleagues and provide a professional and first class service to the customers. Okay, the next Network Rail interview question is, tell me about a time when you worked as part of a team to complete a challenging task. Now at Network Rail, you will regularly face challenges as a team and you will be expected to handle each challenge in a positive, forward thinking and collaborative manner. My advice is to structure your answer using the STAR method when answering any tough behavioural interview question like this one. So a behavioural interview question or a competency based interview question tend to start with tell me about a time, describe a time or explain a time when. So when answering any question like these, use the STAR method and that stands for S for situation. What was the situation you found yourself in? T is for task. What was the task that needed to be carried out? And A is for action. What action did you take to achieve the task? And finally, R is for result. What was the end result for in your actions? Please take note of the following answer and how it's structured using the STAR method or STAR technique. Tell me about a time when you worked as part of a team to complete a challenging task. In my previous employment, my team was tasked with coordinating the yearly charity event in aid of the company's chosen charity. In previous years, the finance team had taken responsibility for the event, however this year this had not been possible. It fell to my team to take on this new challenge. Despite none of us having fundraising experience, I saw this as a fantastic opportunity to demonstrate my organisational skills. It was our task to decide which form the charity event would take, as well as when and where it would take place. I took it upon myself to schedule a team discussion to navigate the logistics of the event. As a team, we mind mapped ideas and collectively decided on a bake sale. Because each of us on the team was willing to bake and donate a large cake, we would not need to spend company money on supplies. This meant a larger sum of money could be donated. In order to maximise how much money we could make, I suggested that we make the decision to host the sale over the office lunch break. Thanks to our collective efforts as a team, we were able to raise over £800 for a worthwhile charity. Upon receiving our donation, our company received a letter of appreciation personally written by the charity's chairman. Okay, let's move on to the next Network Rail interview question. Do you think safety is important within the transport industry? Being a safety focused employee is essential for working in the rail and transport industry. Therefore, you must show that you can follow rules and procedures and that you would never compromise safety. Following rules and procedures is essential when working in the railway industry and it's going to be a big part of your interview and a big part of the application process and training process if you do get the job. So show that you understand the importance of safety, its impact and how you will always follow the rules and procedures and demonstrate that you've been doing so in previous job roles. So let's take a look at a great example answer to help you. Do you think safety is important within the transport industry? Absolutely, safety is the most important aspect of the industry and is there to protect passengers, staff and the general public. It is vital that any company providing transport services has a thorough safety policy and ensures that all members of staff adhere to this at all times. Failure to follow safety policies can result in serious risks to someone and could have a far-reaching effect on the organisation. I fully understand that Network Rail operates in an industry that requires that all members of staff adhere strictly to all safety policies and procedures. I come from a background which required me to work to strict safety policies and guidelines and if successful, you could always rely on me to not only follow procedures but also ensure others around me also adhere to company policy. 
Now, in preparation for your Network Row interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. Can you name Network Row's 10 safety principles? Tell me about a time when you needed to communicate a difficult decision. What was the issue and what made the decision difficult? What do rules mean to you? What is your biggest weakness? What are your main strengths that will help you to be competent in this role? Describe a time when you disagreed with a coworker. Tell me the three main things you would bring to the role if successful. How do you deal with conflict with a coworker? As you're aware, this role was extremely demanding and challenging. Tell me about a situation when you worked hard to achieve a difficult task whilst under pressure. What makes a good team? Give an example of how you've ensured stakeholders put the customer first. Describe a situation when you delivered excellent customer service. Can you describe a time when you demonstrated flexibility in the workplace? Please provide an example of the types of procedures that you adhere to within your working day currently. What do you think you'll find the most challenging about the role? So the next thing to do if you'd like to download example answers to all of those questions I just covered, plus all of the other toughest network rail interview questions, is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now, head through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download these slides and get access to 30 network rail interview questions and high scoring answers to each question in a PDF guide. You can literally have access and the slides in your inbox within two minutes from now and it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also, more importantly, put your head of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these and if you have any questions regarding any job interview with Network Rail then please let me know the name of the role in the comments section below so I can get back to you with even more advice and interview tips. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best for your interview. Have a brilliant day.